guys, Wisteria Moon here, and today it is Thursday, and you all know what that means. Animal Jam updates! Woo! Before I hop into these Animal Jam updates, which I am very excited about, by the way, I just have a couple quick announcements to make. First, be sure to stick around to the very end of this video because at the end of this video, I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway that I hosted in my previous video, Animal Jam at VidCon 2018, revealing everything. And then, I will be hosting a new giveaway for all of you to enter in the comments of this video. So stay tuned, stick around to the very end so that you can partake in all that good stuff. Now, my second thing is that if you guys would like to see more videos, like some bonus content, be sure to click the link that I'm about to put at the top of the description of this video that says IGTV because Instagram has recently rolled out this brand new feature called Instagram TV and it basically allows you to post videos up to 10 minutes long. So I'm going to be posting some mini Animal Jam videos on there, maybe making some small series and stuff. So I really appreciate it if you guys could go check that out and let me know your thoughts. I'm going to be putting the link to my most recent IGTV video at the top of the description of this video. So check that out for me, guys. I'm sure you'll all appreciate the new content. But anyways, with that said, let us hop right into these updates. I better head on over to my den because it seems that there are a lot of fans in there uh, waiting. I feel like they know that I'm making a video right now, so I guess we'll go appease these folks. So anyways, let's go ahead and click on this good old Jama journal. So the first page, we have Wild Weekend Summer Freeze. Ooh. So apparently with this Wild Weekend comes exclusive ice pop related items that are found. Well, it actually uh, doesn't really say where they're found. Um, we can assume that at least some of them are in the diamond shop because we've got an armor set, but it basically just says that there are a ton of ice pop related den items and accessories. So that's pretty exciting. I guess we're going to have to pop on over to some of the stores and see where we can pick these up because they look pretty darn sweet. And here on the next page, we have Enchanted Eagles. <gasps> oh my goodness, guys. I am so, so excited for this. So this would definitely not be the first time that Animal Jam has released an enchanted animal. We've already got, I think they're called snowflake arctic foxes and spring bunnies that have little snowflake and flower patterns on them. But this, this is particularly divine because the eagle is a flying animal. So you can leave a trail of whatever this pattern thing is in the sky. Oh my goodness, guys. I cannot wait. Somehow enchanted animals almost excite me more than regular animals. I know that's ridiculous. Doesn't really make much sense, but I just am a huge fan of the patterns and these look super pretty. So I'm definitely going to be buying one of these. Anyways, here we have something very hilarious, pet dodos, which makes sense, guys. It, it really does make sense. Of course, I feel like making this dodo a pet doesn't really do the game justice. I really feel like we needed an animal version of the dodo, but now that the pet's been released, I don't really feel like that's likely. Anyways, this does make a lot of sense in light of the emergence of the saber tooth and dire wolves because apparently Animal Jam can just magically resurrect extinct species from the dust and uh, bring them into the game, so that's pretty fun. Anyways, I'm never going to be taking advantage of this pet dodo, and apparently all jammers can adopt them. So that means non-members, you can also adopt pet dodos, which is pretty spicy stuff because most of these updates are not for non-members, so that's really riveting. I hope you guys will agree. So then on the next page, we have the beach house den, which is pretty much just an announcement as far as I can see. I have already already obtained this seasonal den last year, although I suppose I can switch to it in celebration of the update. Aha, there we have the beach house den. So again, this den is not entirely new. It's kind of just being re-announced, I guess. Animal Jam really has a habit of doing that lately. Apparently, I like slightly decorated this. It'd be cool if I could deck it out a little bit more, but we'll see. That depends on how much motivation I have. Anyways, let's head on over to the next page. So here we have Taking Flight. Ooh, the Conservation Museum in Appendale has another exhibit. Learn about the wonders of animals in flight with the Taking Flight display. Interesting. Then on the next page, we have the Spirit Armor set, which again is kind of some old news right there. I mean, I think this was one of the first armor sets to come out, so there's nothing new about this except for the fact that it's back in the diamond shop. I never knew it left in the first place, so amazing, amazing stuff. And then on this page, we have Summer Items. So this is just an announcement that there are new Summer Items coming out, which which is kind of useless. And then we have Lace It Up. Ooh, I'm actually not going to be getting too in depth with this page because this is basically a promotion of the latest Animal Jam summer box, which I actually have. And I'm supposed to be doing an unboxing video of because I got a free sample of it from VidCon and I wanted to review it all for you folks. But yeah, it's not quite come together yet. Probably gonna be recording that in the coming days. So we'll just uh, skip past a little advertisement for now. 
And now I think we're getting into the old stuff. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be closing out of that. Ooh, it looks like we've got some people dressed up as me up in here. It's a very good choice. But yes, it's getting quite laggy, if I do say so myself. My next step is going to be to hit up the diamond shop and check out some of the new stuff we got in there. Room is full. That is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Gotta switch our server. Go to somewhere empty. You know, it's really funny. Back in the day, I used to love hitting up Alden. Now, I try to go on the most empty unknown servers there are because I do not want to get mobbed. Only on account of the lag people. It's the lag. I promise. I promise. I'm not a hater. Anyways, let's hit this little animal button and here we have it, folks. The enchanted eagle. I'm riveted. Riveted people. Let me go ahead and pick my usual animal name. The huge sleeping desert flower. And with some strenuous backbreaking effort, we have finally selected our name. Are you sure you would like to buy this item for 10 diamonds? Why, yes, of course. Cannot think of a better use of 10 diamonds than this enchanted eagle. Ooh, that is already looking quite spiffy. I really like this color variation and the purple and mint aesthetic. It's quite nice. I really do favor that. And of course, we've got a little pile of, it looks like roses, to be honest. Uh, yeah, looks like we've got roses underneath us. And I think that that is quite divine looking. So let us go ahead and deck out this enchanted eagle and make it something pretty. So we can actually change the color of this pattern. We've got a lot of color variations, uh, color schemes available. It's really hard to decide what I want to stick with. Hmm. I think that the pink and mint idea is really pretty, but it's also really hard. I just, I really like all of these aesthetics. Maybe we'll go with that. Maybe we'll be girly for once. <laughs> Doesn't happen too often, but ooh, this look is begging for a flower crown. We'll see what colors I have available, and then that will determine the color of the rest of the pattern. You know, if this ever loads. Aha! So we've got this flower tail, which seems pretty nice, and uh, this flower crown. I think those match decently well. I don't think we're gonna get much better than that, to be honest, so we'll stick with that. Now we just need some naturiness for the rest of the look. It would be great if I had a vine anklet that matched, but apparently I don't have it in any color other than blue. Maybe we should hit up the store. Now that's something I don't do too often. Oh, you know, surprisingly, this is a good use for the lay. I never thought this moment would come, but alas, here we are, folks. Actually, I think we need more of a minty green. There we go. Now let's hope with all our hearts that the vine anklet is still here. Also, should we go with this flowered cape? No, that's kind of ugly, to be honest. You won't even see it, so it doesn't matter. Oh, actually, I think that this is a better variation of the flower tail. Did not realize that was in stores, but no, that's great. Ooh, we've got some pretty variations of the mech helmet and wings. Did not realize those were there. Now, this flower bracelet actually does pretty much qualify for my outfit needs, so we'll use that unless I can somehow find a vine flower inklet. But I don't think that's happening. Now let's pick a good body color. Ooh, I kind of like that green. Yeah, I think I might be sticking with this. Then go with some pink eyes. It's kind of an oversaturated look, to be honest. The lay and the flower tail are kind of throwing me off, so I think I'm gonna leave those out for now until I find something better. Comment below some suggestions, if you could. But either way, I'm really enjoying the heck out of this look. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I could easily rate this in Enchanted Eagle, a 10 out of 10. But yes, I think this is absolutely fabulous. The last thing I want to do is see how this looks in the sky. Yes, we are still leaving our lofely trail in the clouds. That is some beautiful stuff, folks. Beautiful. Now I'm going to be heading back on over to the diamond shop, buying myself a dodo. So here we have it, sitting right in the diamond shop. And it is, as you can see, non-member. So that's pretty great. And it's actually pretty cute, okay? I'm not going to lie, folks. I guess we'll go with this blue tone for now and uh, blue beak. I don't know why. There's no good reason for it. All oh, these eye options are absolutely adorable. You're gonna be going with that. Looks like a little alien dude. But yeah, this nose is really ugly. It just, I don't even know. It looks like a tube or something. I think we're gonna go with this classic option. There really is no better shape. I mean, the other shapes are just pure ugliness, so hopefully none of you choose it. And uh, hmm, in terms of the feather and tail option, this, this is the logical decision. Now for the pattern. Hmm. This was probably the easiest choice of all, my friends. This look right here. I mean, color, I don't really care. You guys can go with whatever, but this is honestly the only combination that is even remotely acceptable in terms of the body pattern. So yeah, let's go ahead and buy this. Oh wait, gotta give it a name. I guess we're gonna be basic as heck today. Cloudy sky. We're really working on that aesthetic. Favorite toy, the treadmill. Since when in the heck is a treadmill a toy? No, that sounds like a lot of work to me. Cool personality though, makes sense. And favorite food is Vindaloo. Have no idea what that means. Not even in the slightest, but either way, I'm digging this pet dodo. This, this combination, bad. Bad combination. We're gonna have to hit up the pet stop now. But we do have some, some cute options here. Can be a little dragon or a little hula dancer. I don't know. I don't really know what I want to go with. Can't really decide what mood I'm in. Oh, those feet though. 
those feet. Those are something else. I think I'm gonna go with the feet, to be honest. I think we're gonna stay au naturel. And we're just gonna have a dodo with some strangely human-esque feet. Oh yes, the armor set. I don't really understand why they put this armor set, you know, not with the other armor <laughs> sets. But yeah, uh, I think I'll dress my dire wolf up in the ice pop armor because this look needs some help right now. It looks like all of these items are member items because of course. And this is a very angry looking animal. I feel like we're really rocking the angry ice pop monster aesthetic right now. But yeah, otherwise, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how to feel about this armor set. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's supposed to be some glamorous outfit. I don't really think it's meant to be a fashion statement, but that's good because it's definitely not. It's definitely not looking that fashionable at all in any way. Oh, yep. We've got our other ice pop related items for Wild Weekend. In the furniture section of the diamond shop, this would be really cool for a dessert themed den, but I don't really have a use for it at the moment. And of course, as you can see here in the armor shop, the spirit armor has returned, the OG armor set, but I already have all those items, so not gonna be getting any of those today. And wow, I'm feeling pretty proud of myself right now, guys. It actually seems as though I have reviewed everything in this update, except of course for the flying animal exhibit, but here it is. You know, if you guys are really eager to check that out, hit up the conservation museum and click on these little banners. Anyways, I guess that, that is just about going to conclude this little animal jam update, folks. So without further ado, I'm gonna be hopping right into the giveaway. The giveaway, according to my last video, was for a long orange rare spiked collar, and all people had to do was comment below their Animal Jam username and their team, Team Direwolf or Team Sabretooth in light of VidCon, and yeah, then they would be entered in the giveaway for the long orange rare spiked collar. Now, here is the selected winning comment from Terrific62. They will be receiving the long orange rare spiked collar, but don't fret, kids. Don't fret just yet, because congrats. Woo, freedom day. Right as heck. Anyways, congrats to you, Terrific62. Anyways, I, I completely diverged from the point, but yes, don't fret just yet because the next giveaway is going to be for this long red rare spiked collar. So to enter, you must do a few simple things. First, leave a like on this video. Second, subscribe to my channel. Third, hit the bell next to the subscribe button if you don't have that hit already. I will be checking for these things, so be sure to do them. And next, leave a comment below on this video that contains your Animal Jam username and your favorite part of this Animal Jam update, whether it be the popsicle items or the enchanted eagle or the dodo pet. Leave your thoughts on this update and what your favorite aspect of the update was, just for funsies, you know? I always like to throw a little bonus thing into these giveaways, just to make sure that you all are paying attention. So anyways, with that, folks, that is just about going to wrap it up for this little video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!